There's nothing like a good rivalry. While you battle it out with your next door neighbor to see whose garden grows the juiciest tomatoes, two of the world's richest and most powerful businessmen are locked in a different type of rivalry. The 21st century billionaire space race. For quite a while, space exploration and space projects were matters of the state and were overseen by governments and government organizations worldwide. However, it wasn't long before the private sector wanted a piece of the space pie. And just like that, the private space community was born. The private space community consists of various companies like Virgin Galactic, owned by Richard Branson, Breakthrough Starshot, owned by Yuri Milner, and the frontrunners Blue Origin and SpaceX, owned by Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk respectively. In this video, we're having a face-off between the two frontrunners, Blue Origin and SpaceX, to determine which space project will dominate the cosmos. It doesn't feel like a competition anymore because we all know that the superior one is... You know what? We'll let you be the judge of that. Don't forget to subscribe to Super Freaky Science and hit the notification button to stay informed on in all of our freshest videos. If you're a space enthusiast, you probably know all about SpaceX and Blue Origin by now. And just in case you don't, or you need a refresher course, let's bring you up to speed. Blue Origin Federation is an American aerospace manufacturer and suborbital space flight services company founded in 2000 by Jeff Bezos. The company is privately funded by its owner, who is the founder and CEO of Amazon, as well as the world's richest man with a net worth of $194.1 billion as of 2020. Blue Origin, whose headquarters is located in Kent, Washington, was founded 20 years ago on the 8th of September 2000. The company gets its name from the Earth, which is nicknamed the Blue Planet, because it's acknowledged as the origin of all life. The second frontrunner, Space Exploration Technologies Corp, or better known as SpaceX, is also an American aerospace manufacturer and space transportation services company founded 18 years ago on the 6th of May 2002, just two years after Blue Origin was founded. The company whose headquarters is located in Hawthorne, California, was founded by Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla in case you didn't know. He's currently the world's fifth richest person with a net worth of $93.3 billion. He's also the company's CEO and chief designer. SpaceX is owned by a board of shareholders who make up the Elon Musk Trust. Elon himself owns 54% equity and has 78% voting control. SpaceX and Blue Origin have quite a lot in common. They're both space projects owned by successful American billionaire businessmen and were created to fulfill the space exploration dreams of each of these men. Both men have different end goals, but they are both striving to ensure that in years to come, the Earth would no longer be the only habitable planet. Jeff Bezos wants to make the moon habitable so millions of people can work and live there to help preserve the Earth for future generations. Elon Musk, on the other hand, wants to colonize Mars and make life multi-planetary. You know, just in case Earth gets ravaged by war and natural disasters and becomes inhabitable. Just some really light-hearted stuff. Their dreams are significantly different, but the steps to achieve them are not so different. The first step to either making the moon habitable or colonizing Mars is to lower the cost of access to space through cost-efficient and reusable launch vehicles that will mimic the workings of the aviation industry. Presently, both companies are working tirelessly to create such vehicles as well as achieve other similar goals. A rivalry is ultimately inevitable at this point, regardless of how many times Blue Origin says they don't wish to participate in a space race. Why? Well, both companies are doing the same things at about the same time in the public eye, and Elon himself has expressed excitement for the space race. Furthermore, for someone who doesn't want to be locked in rivalry, Jeff Bezos engages in a lot of Twitter battles. Along with rivalries comes lawsuits, accusations, and jabs. And it turns out the SpaceX and Blue Origin rivalry is not an exception. In 2008, SpaceX filed the employee poaching lawsuit against Blue Origin claiming that Blue Origin was strategically spying on them by poaching their employees. After that, the battle for the lease of the esteemed launch site LC-39A ensued. And in 2013, SpaceX emerged victorious. Then there was a lawsuit SpaceX filed against Blue Origin to invalidate their patent on landing rockets on ships at sea. Of course, SpaceX won because 
The idea of landing rockets on ships is an old one. So old that people have made movies about it before Jeff even applied for the patent. In 2015, Jeff and Elon took to the internet for their infamous Twitter battles, and at some point, SpaceX was confident that Blue Origin was collaborating with the ULA in an attempt to spite them, which wasn't entirely a lie. So let's go ahead and settle this once and for all. Publicity SpaceX is always in the headlines. They keep the public informed on all their latest activities like rocket development, missions, launches, achievements, and schedules. Blue Origin, however, prefers to keep things under wraps and make only a few announcements. SpaceX definitely gets an A for transparency. What do you think? Do you prefer the secretive approach without flashy announcements or the ambitious schedule like SpaceX has? Staff Strength in 2019, Blue Origin had a total of 2,500 staff, and in May 2020, SpaceX confirmed that the company has 8,000 staff. We can't vouch for the staff's productivity, but surely two heads are better than one, or in this case, 8,000 are better than 2,500. Funding as with other projects, funding is an essential part of space exploration. Blue Origin is privately owned and funded by its founder Jeff Bezos. In an article published by the New York Times, they explain that Jeff Bezos sold a billion dollars of his own Amazon stock each year to finance Blue Origin. On the other hand, one school of thought believes that since SpaceX has investors, a time will come when the company will be required to be profitable. SpaceX is already branching out into various endeavors and signing different contracts to raise money to fund research and development. This diversification may create a distraction that will slow down and ultimately hinder the achievement of their ultimate goal, thus making them lose the space race. Which of these space projects do you think is better funded? SpaceX that makes billions in contracts or Blue Origin that receives a billion dollars for free annually and has acquired quite a few deals of its own lately? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Notable achievements. Blue Origin is doing a fantastic job working at their own pace, but they don't stand a chance in this category. SpaceX has a ton of achievements under their belts, and they have a lot of records. Let's take a look at a few. In 2008, the SpaceX Falcon 1 became the first privately funded liquid propellant rocket to reach orbit. In 2010, the Cargo Dragon made SpaceX the first private company to successfully launch, orbit, and recover a spacecraft. Two years later, SpaceX sent the Dragon to the International Space Station, making them the first private company to send a spacecraft to the ISS. The Falcon 9 is quite an impressive launch vehicle. It earned SpaceX the record for the first propulsive landing for an orbital rocket in 2015, and the first reuse of an orbital rocket in 2017. In 2018, the Falcon Heavy's payload of a Tesla Roadster made SpaceX the first private company to launch an object into orbit around the sun. If you're still not impressed, then buckle up baby, because there's more. The 2020 SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo 2 mission made SpaceX the first private company to send astronauts, to orbit and to the International Space Station. Later in the same year with the third successful launch of the Starlink project, check out our video on that, SpaceX became the largest commercial satellite constellation operator in the world. Mr. Bezos, I think you have some catching up to do. Let's see what you've got on your list of accomplishments. As far as Blue Origin goes, they've made it clear they prefer the slow and steady path. So far, they've successfully flown suborbital rocket flights developed the technology of reusable rockets in vertical takeoff and landing, and are currently developing a two-stage orbital launch vehicle with New Glenn. Check out our video on that. Also, it appears that they are very close to launching a crewed flight. SpaceX did it first, but better late than never? In recent times, one of Blue Origin's biggest achievements was on April 30th, 2020. The company's moon lander, the Blue Moon Lander, was selected by NASA as a winner of the Human Lander Systems Award under the Next Space Technologies for Exploration Partnerships, or Next Step 2, alongside rival companies SpaceX and Dianetics. Comparing both companies' achievements, we can clearly see that the superior one of these two companies is SpaceX. SpaceX wins, hands down, thanks to their numerous achievements and the various milestones they've already reached. SpaceX has learned to jump where Blue Origin is still just crawling on the ground. Blue Origin has likened the competition between itself and SpaceX to the race between a tortoise and a hare. Jeff Bezos and Blue Origin believe that slow and steady will eventually win the race against Elon Musk and SpaceX's fast stride. 
Some believe that the space race is over and SpaceX has emerged victorious while others believe it to be a new era for Blue Origin and that the space race will only truly begin when the new Glenn takes flight. But when the hell is that going to be? That does it for today's Face Off and Elon Musk's SpaceX has emerged victorious. Let us know what you think about this new age space race in the comments below. Is it still a thing or has SpaceX pulled so far ahead it's not even a competition anymore? Thanks for watching Super Freaky Science and don't forget to subscribe.